What's going on guys? This is going to be the unboxing of the Corsair H60 liquid cooler. This is going to be for my client's machine, so if you want to see that being built, or you want to see me set up uh, two 120 gigabyte solid state drives in a RAID 0 on a Hackintosh, go ahead and click you know the respective annotations. Uh, get you all sorts of content there. But back to this video, it's going to be like I said, the unboxing of the Corsair H60. This is what, this is a liquid water cooling solution. No, it's not going to get you um, you know the full benefit of you know a a thousand dollar cooling system with pumps and bricks and stuff like that. But for anyone that's looking to do some overclocking on their CPU or just to have their temperatures really nice and cool in their case, this is going to be a great solution for you. Like I said, all in one solution. So I'm going to be unboxing it in this video, and then in my next video, I'm going to be actually installing it in the machine. So. Um, look for that in just a few days, but back to this video, let's just go ahead and unbox this thing. So I guess I'll give you guys a quick overview of the box. This guy is compatible with pretty much every CPU socket out there. You could probably see that. Uh, 775, 1155, 1156, uh, even the newer 2011 socket. Um, pretty much compatible with every CPU out there, or pretty close to it. So just a quick overview of the box, and I'll go ahead and bust out the uh, unboxing scissors. So I'm going to go ahead and try to cut this plastic here. I'll, I've said it before and I'll say it again, the plastic is probably the best part to any unboxing. Just that satisfying noise. So, plastic coming off. This is a pretty big box, so the cooler should be a pretty good size. Alright, so it looks like it's down on the side somewhere. Yep, right here. So this is coming off now. Stop! Sorry, it told me to stop, so I had to stop for a second. So um, I, I did stop, so no laws broken. Uh, some um, documentation, things of that nature. Some awesome styrofoam. And here we are presented with the cooler itself. So let's go ahead and remove this. It's all just kind of in one bag. All right, so move this off to the side for just a second. Here's the cooler itself. So here you go, there's the Corsair, that's what actually sits on the CPU, complete with the thermal paste, so there you go. This is, uh, I guess, the radiator, all the, the cooler, like the liquid is in these little tubes here, and this sits in the back of your case, and I believe this cooler does come with a fan that you can mount on the radiator, and yes, I am right about that, here's the fan. Pretty standard, it looks like a 120 millimeter fan, that goes on the radiator to help blow that uh, hot air out of the case. So this is a very effective cooler from what I've read. So we'll get this plastic out of here. And also included is the uh, back CPU plate, that back mounting bracket. That goes on the back of the motherboard, so um, pretty self-explanatory. Also in here we have um, what looks like to be for AMD sockets, so I will not need these. So those can just go off to the side, because I'll never in my life build an AMD system, at least you know for myself. We have some screws that looks like we're going to need, and once again, I probably won't be needing all of these because some of them are probably um, specific to the AMD configuration, and obviously I'm rocking the Intel CPU, and uh, OS X is making noise, and we have some of the stuff that probably tastes really good, but I just won't eat it on camera. Obviously, I'm kidding. Don't, don't go eat that stuff. It's not good for you. So this has been a pretty quick unboxing of the Corsair H60 liquid cooler. I definitely recommend a liquid cooling solution like this. They cool much more efficiently than an air cooler would. And they're also quieter. I mean, this isn't like, you know, a full all-out $1,200 like pumps and brick, you know, cooling system. But this definitely makes it a lot easier and gives you, I'd say, like 90% of the effect of a liquid-cooled CPU. So before I ramble anymore, thank you guys very much for watching. I'm at CPUKid on Twitter. And go ahead and check out my next video, which should be up pretty soon. If it is, there will be an annotation right here of me actually installing this bad boy. So thank you guys for watching.